Hello creative beings, hope you had a wonderful time last year because I sure did. And here's a quick recap of what I was doing last six months when I wasn't here. So, a lot of things happened, but I wasn't as productive in the art field as I hoped I would be and as I was in 2019, but at least I finished a sketchbook. Yes, let me show you. My sketchbook is from Kansan. It is quite a small one, A6, but there are a lot of pages, though they are thin, quite thin. I think it's 90 grams per meter square. On the front there is a sticker from my camp where I was a summer camp counselor. Let's start. By the way, I started the sketchbook in 2014 and it took me like four years to finish it up. I have a self-portrait. As you can see, it's April of 2014. This was actually a plein air drawing my balcony wait for me to see i will try to um skip through the pages quite fast because there are a lot of them and i don't want this video to be a long one this is also a planar drawing I used watercolor and gouache here. This is already 2017. It holds few layers quite well. 2018 and back to 2014. This is our family dog, Toshka. Some of the sketches from my hiking trips to Hoverla and some notes. The lake and the Samoveta. This was painted at the sea while I was away with my parents on vacation. I redrawn this picture a couple of times. The initial sketch was done in 2014, then I painted over with in 2015, but then I decided to just leave it as it is because. I need to see the progress. I like this one, it looks like a political poster. 2014 or 15 and 2018. Those are the sketches, plein air paintings from my time in camp. I really love them, especially these two. For some reason, this page got stuck to this one. Ah, uh, they are okay. I don't like this in particular. I think I could have done better with colors. But this part... It looks juicy. I like this one. Also playing our paintings. I was doing them while kids were at the lessons or sleeping or doing kid stuff. Those are little thumbnails from pictures, ink, 2017, April of 2017. 
this is a redraw from it's from reference my first hand oh my god i like this one this is how do you call this thing spray bottle this is 2018 it's done with the ink and on the background it's gouache wash this is from my own reference from amsterdam 2018 it that was the time when i was doing black and white uh, paintings and, and studying values and you can see that there was something else on the background but i don't like wasting paper that much so i try to draw on most of the pages here and also there that was kind of an underpainting but you don't really need an underpainting when you paint in six layers in black and white so that was not the point that there was no point in painting there uh and that <laughs> me of 2014 oh my god it's so fun to look at that you can see how I worked with gouache before it was quite messy one more hiking plein air watercolor and ink Some of them I did when I was on bus, going somewhere. Jensen Eccles. Uh, yikes, okay. There was one time when a bee, I think it's a bee, um, got stuck in between two of my windows so I painted it and then I helped to release it some sky color studies those are also plain air sky studies clouds studies this is from plain air um, when I was out with my parents on the fishing trip you might remember this one from my lake vlog this is from the video music clip of Lindsay Sterling there was me in that picture and I repainted it as Cass some weird things oh this is a planner from camp but there are a lot of mistakes here though I really like this sketch for the memories it holds so mostly I really I like pictures that are from my own references and my own memories like plein air paintings even if they are worse in technique than the ones that are painted from references like this one. It's a screen cap from Supernatural. Plein air painting. I was trying to play with colors, but it didn't work out. I didn't have, I had no understanding of color at that point. Repaint from one of my favorite artists, Nathan Fox. And uh, this is from my window, plein air April this year. Oh, I love these ones. Those are completely from my own imagination, but this is Dean character. It's from my reference in watercolor. This is like 10 minutes sketch. It's planar sketch and observation from my window view, of my window view. This is also planar painting or more like painting on spot. This is done with ink. I think I spent like 15 minutes and it is one of my favorite trees in the city. Like I have trees that I literally adore uh, and they are in different parts of the city. 
one more completely from my own imagination, but inspired from a photo of an office that I saw, but I decided to make it um, a train. This is from Christoph Chekot. I think it's pronounced this, his name right. Uh, he does amazing pictures on Instagram photos. That was plain air painting at 6 a.m. that didn't work out. Plain air painting with ink. I love this one. This is the main one of the main squares in my city, and it was also done on spot. I think in 15 minutes or something. I was really proud of it. I'm still very really proud of it. This is indoor scene of my mom's grocery shop i think it was april or something yeah it was april and uh, those flowers were blooming and they were really beautiful and i tried to recreate it with the help of only black and white my friend plain air painting uh, it was nice it is a nice one but no depth I remember I struggled with this so much. I think I painted it like two hours. I still didn't get to the point that I wanted. Need to go back then. And then uh, this is... Uh, this is April. And then we are in October. So that's almost like four months of jump. And I started to do black and white. Uh, value studies from my own references and planers mostly from my own references this is planer one this is the view from our mcdonald's uh, my friend sent me a picture of this how do you call it? These nuts? <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> and uh, I painted them. Th this one I did when I was uh, at the Imagine Dragon concert and I stayed to visit my friend. Still life of some peers. My reference picture. This is in my favorite mall. This is actually my window view right now. Back at home, my chair. I'm not sure if you can see if the light is appropriate. So sorry if, I'm, if I need to hold it. Window view. My favorite part of the road. There's like a bus stop and forest all around it. It's very beautiful there. I go there to just sit and look at the cars passing. My kitchen window view in autumn. As you can see, I first of all do little thumbs trying to place my composition and trying to decide where are the borders. This is also my current window view. Planar painting. This is from my reference back when I was at the ski trip. More still life. My bed and little corner back at home. My previous workspace. Pictures from references back when I was uh, in Poland on a hiking trip to Morskie Oko. And this is, I believe, the last picture. Just some swatches and some little stuff. Some tickets, some more stickers. My name and surname, uh, it was attached to 
the huge paintings of cubes I did back when I was studying art lessons. I think I did like a half year of art lessons, then I got bored. But I'm really, I really appreciate that time that I spent drawing and painting just cubes and bottles. It helped me a lot. And that is it for this little guy. Thank you, you've been quite helpful. So I hope you enjoyed it and tell me your favorite moment of 2018. Because it's truly uplifting to hear and know more about the real people in the art community. And I will see you next time. Take care and 